Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to look and see the person you're thinking about, the person in your heart and your mind. What are their feelings for you at this time? Keep in mind, this is general collective. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround, okay? We're gonna start with Aries first. I will put the timestamps down below. All right, Aries. Their feelings for you. Let's see what your person's feelings for you are at this time. Aries. Their feelings for Aries at this time. person is really caught up in their head. They're trying to decide if they want to feel determined to open up about something, something that they've been needing to open up that they've been stuck in their head a lot about. What is this? Okay. Well, you know, this person is using their intuition. Their intuition is saying, you know, tell Aries finally that you love them, that you want to be open and receptive to sharing your feelings and emotions. And so your person's kind of been in their head a lot about, should I really tell Aries or should I not? Should I communicate it? Should I not? Well, it looks like this person is going to take the action. You got the magician. They desire to be honest with you finally. They're going to harness into the energy of stepping up and being able to communicate. And it's going to be like a quick decision. They're going to make this decision. They're just going to go all out. They're just going to put it all out there, Aries, that their feelings are that they love you. They have emotions, they have feelings for you, and that they feel like you are somebody who's spiritually guided to them, and they're determined to see if you feel the same way they do. So they're using their intuition to try to let go of the negative thoughts and harness into the positive so that they can bring this into fruition. Taurus. All right, Taurus. Their feelings for you, the person in your heart, Person on your mind, Taurus. Taurus. This person is feeling like they need to be in protection mode from you, Taurus. This person feels like they've lost a lot of motivation to keep working at this. They feel like they call you, you don't answer. They show up, you, you don't show up. They feel like you're punishing them for something that happened in the past. And they feel now that maybe the connection has been destroyed. They feel like you're punishing them for something that maybe they did or didn't do. And maybe they did try to apologize. They did try to work it out with you, but they feel like now they're working it out all by themselves because you're not showing up. You're not participating. So they feel like they need to go in self-protection mode. So somebody you maybe have children with, you maybe have known each other for a very long time. There's definitely history here. There's a lot of good memories. And there's also some bad memories here. And this person feels like, why should I keep putting in the work? Why should I keep reaching out to Taurus when Taurus isn't reaching out to me? Taurus is not um, really coming towards and showing any type of compassion for the situation. So this person is becoming more and more aware that the doubts that they have within themselves that it's going to be fixed or work out is going from like 10 down to zero. Like it's on a, sl uh, a sliding down scale that... They feel like they need to protect themselves now because you're just not stepping up or wanting this. Is that's their feelings? Gemini. <clears throat> All right, Gemini. What are their feelings for you, Gemini? Gemini. What is Gemini's person's feelings for them at this time? One more. They feel like they need to move on from this connection. The two of you fight nonstop. There's a lot of differences. The two of you, it's almost like day to day, you just can't avoid getting into a fight or an argument. Could be because 
Gemini, you feel like this person is a liar. They're dishonest. They do things very deceptively. Three of Swords. You feel like there is somebody else. This person feels like it's it's a loss. Even if they're not seeing someone else, you're still accusing them of seeing someone else. They just feel like it's the right decision for the two of you maybe to just let this go, to depart your own ways and to move away or transition away from each other at this time. Yeah, it looks like this person feels like there's just a lack of direction that the two of you can actually get on the same page. They maybe have been delaying or procrastinating not ending it with you in the hopes that you were going to end it with them, but it doesn't look that, like that's happened. Because of the indecision, this person feels like they need to make the right choice for them right now, which is to part ways and to end the situation. All right, Cancer. All right, Cancer. Their feelings for you at this time. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Cancer. Could be dealing with Sagittarius. I just seen Temperance wanted to pop out. Someone wants to talk to you. Your person you're you're thinking about watching this. Their feelings for is that you, the two of you need to have a conversation. There's something about this person feels like they've been really optimistic that the two of you are going to heal things, that things were going to be very clear, and they haven't found that. They haven't seen that. They are feeling disappointed that. They have a lot of regrets that the two of you haven't been able to come back into alignment. This is somebody who wants this partnership. They want this connection to work out, but they feel like the more time they spend by themselves, the more inner peace they get by themselves, the more they're ready to just be single. It makes them sad that they feel you don't care as much as they care, and they feel like clearly this connection is going to fail and they don't want to have any regrets, but they feel like there's no other choices if they reach out and you're not really in a place of receiving, of wanting to heal this, then it takes two people. And they're, that's something they're coming to the conclusion that as much as they value and they want this connection, they might have to make the choice that this connection is not going to come back into fruition. Leo. All right, Leo. All right, Leo. Their feelings for you. Leo. I'm hearing... Michelle, my bell. Ace of Pentacles in reverse wanted to pop out. We'll see if it comes back out. Your name could be Michelle. Their name could be Michelle. Leo. Leo. Their feelings for you, Leo. Ten of Pentacles. This person wants to be happy with you, Leo. They want something long term. They want something for the future. They're trying to decide and they're trying to make a decision of when they're going to come towards you. They're trying to create the opportunity. They're using their intuition when it comes to this. That that Ace of Pentacles in reverse that came out. Queen of Pentacles. Um, it feels like you're not in a commitment with this person right now. They feel like you two are working towards a commitment. There's something about this person wants to indulge in the happiness that they feel with you. They In the future here, because we do have the three of wands, so they are preparing and using their intuition. They don't want to be disappointed, so they're maybe taking a little bit more time not giving the commitment, but it does feel like this is what they're wanting, which is that Ten of Pentacles. So they want something long-term. They're optimistic that the two of you are going to get there. Virgo. 
All right, Virgo, their feelings for you, Virgo. Virgo, I'm just seeing 10, 10. You might be ending one cycle and starting a new one with this person, Virgo. One more, Virgo. person is coming towards you. They're following their heart coming towards you. They don't know if it's a good or a bad choice. <laughs> you got three of swords. They don't want to be hurt. They, they've been hurt. Maybe this person's been divorced. They're not sure if you want them or not in an um, exclusive situation, but this person is making the choice that they don't want other opportunities, but they don't want to be hurt by you. They don't want to be disappointed. So they feel like they should just follow their heart. Their heart is telling them to come towards you, express what they're thinking and feeling, and not be not be stubborn, but really be able to be very controlled with what they're wanting. So it feels like they're going to express to you what they're thinking and what they're wanting. Libra. All right, Libra. They're feeling person may feel like you're lying and they can't hold that back anymore, Libra. See, my son of the swords wanted to pop out. But they're trying to look at things differently. They're trying to look at things from a different perspective. One more. Okay, two more. Libra. They want to open up and communicate that they have fear about, there's that seven of swords that wanted to pop out. Their fear is that you're lying to them. They want to know what the truth is. Are you lying to them or not? That's what they feel. They feel like you're lying to them. They love you. They feel like you're soulmates. They feel like you're the one. They're choosing you, but they fear that you're not choosing them. They feel like you are acting sneaky. I'm hearing sneak link, whatever that means, but... They feel like maybe you're bamboozling them. You're pulling the wool over their eyes. You're not being honest with them. They feel that intuitively. They want to communicate with you. They want to play it safe, but they're going to be honest with you that they want the truth. They want to know what is the truth. Are you really doing something that's dishonest or betrayal? Or are you being transparent? And if you're making them feel that way, what are you doing that's making them feel that way? All right, Scorpio. Scorpio. Yay, Scorpio. Let's see their feelings for you, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. Scorpio. Ooh. One more. Scorpio. Six of Cups, Ten of Cups, High Priestess. Okay, the Tower in Reverse, the Restless, and Four of Wands. Oh my goodness! If you're not married to this person and have children, you're gonna get married, marry this, marry this person. They feel they're gonna marry you and have your children or have children with you, Scorpio. This person is um, very content with the love and support that they feel from this connection. They feel like you're a dream come true. You're everything they ever wanted. They feel like you're very pure and genuine. You're really sensitive to their needs. They like that. And they feel like because of you, they've went through a major transformation in their life on the better. So maybe before they were in a different place in their life when they were single, but since they've met you, their life has changed completely 180. And they're so thankful and grateful for that. Maybe you've given them a lifestyle they never had before. This person is, um, I'm hearing that song, I'm coming home, I'm coming home, tell the world I'm coming home. So this person wants to tell everybody they are coming home to you for the rest of their life. You are the one for them. Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. Their feelings for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Two more. Sagittarius, this person feels like 
they're burdened by the confusion in the situation. They feel like there's conflict. They're caught up in their head. They're not sure what's happening here. You could be dealing with a Leo. This person feels like they're doubting what they once thought was a sense of stability or security in the situation. They don't feel the sense of security anymore. So they're confused as to what you want or where this is actually going. Yeah, this person does not feel optimistic that this is going to work out. They feel disappointed before it's even gotten done. So it feels like this person, they're not coming towards you to tell you this. This is just what they're feeling. They feel like they're getting caught up in their head. They might maybe are psyching themselves out when the situation because we've got the Eight of Swords. So they're very much caught up in their head in a negative light about what's going to happen with the two of you. Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, their feelings for you, Capricorn. 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 They feel like they enjoy the intimate relationship with you, but they feel like they need to keep boundaries when it comes to a commitment and not give you a commitment. They feel like they are enjoying the impulsiveness, the adventurous side of this connection. They're very passionate and they're very intimately drawn towards you, but they lack the confidence that the two of you could actually get into a relationship. They don't feel ambitious or even have the desire. Why is that? They feel like it would be a bad choice to get in a relationship with you. They're hesitant or holding back is how they feel. They feel okay with having a sexual relationship with you, the their adventurous side of them. But when it comes to a commitment, they're not, they don't desire that. They're holding back, not wanting a commitment with you. All right, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, their feelings for you. Aquarius. They're trying to find happiness in the situation, but they can't disregard that they don't feel happy in the situation. They feel like they're not in control of the situation. They feel like there's been a string of nonstop bad luck between the two of you. They could feel like there's constantly this up, down, up, down, and they don't like that. They're thinking about closing out the cycle and focusing on themselves. This is somebody who feels like if you share children together, maybe you could co-parent really well, but relationship-wise, they don't have the confidence because they feel like the two of you are kind of at a standstill all the time with fighting or arguing, and they're just not happy when it comes to the situation or the relationship between the two of you. Pisces. All right, Pisces, their feelings for you. Pisces. Pisces. This person feels like other people around them are more important than you. They feel like their friendships are their family and that they need to put that on a pedestal, not the connection between the two of you. And it's really causing a lot of tension and they know that. They know that it's a bad decision, that they're, they're juggling this idea of, do I openly communicate and tell Pisces that I am putting these people above Pisces? Why are they doing that? Their intuition is telling them that they need to be more sensitive to those other relationships, not the relationship with you. This could be, um, it could be close friends. 
It could be maybe their mother. There's other relationships, feminine energy. It doesn't have to be a woman, but it's feminine energy that they're putting up higher. It could be maybe the mother of their children. They're putting that relationship above this relationship because they feel like intuitively that's what they're supposed to do. They're thinking about talking to you about it, but they're not really coming forward with the communication just quite yet. They feel like if they say something to you about it, they feel like it's going to cause a fight and an argument, even though it's already been causing a fight and argument. And it's really them having to accept what they know to be the truth is that they are putting this person or these other people in front of you and making them more of a priority.